Hello, I'm Harriet Seeger from Radcliffe Cardiology and today I have with me Dr. Hugo Vanneman. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Harriet. Um, Dr. Vanneman, you're an expert in minimally invasive surgery and you coach and teach young surgeons in the technique of minimally invasive surgery all over Europe. Um, we know you're going to be talking at Top 10 in Cardiology and, and hopefully you can tell us a little bit more about that now. In the 20th century there used to be a saying no gain without pain. And that was all what cardiac surgery was offering. A lot of gain, but a lot of pain as well in terms of comfort, scar, long rehabilitation periods. I pioneered minimally invasive cardiac surgery at the end of the 20th century, as of 97, all sorts of pathology in mitral, tricuspid, aortic, and coronary artery disease. And uh, I think this is just a transition uh, towards a period where in the 21st century, everything is going to be transcatheter because the saying now goes, whatever gain, but certainly without pain. That's how people look at it. They do not want their sternum or their breastbone split anymore for an, for a, an intervention that can be done transcatheter. <clears throat> okay, so this is what you're going to be talking about um, in Lausanne. Exactly. I mastered the art of, of, of minimally invasive especially mitral valve surgery because that is what is the, what, what we can reach uh, the easiest through a very tiny incision that is just two to three centimeters with an endoscope and the endoscope slips all the way into the cardiac cavities uh, for example to uh, do mitral valve or tricuspid valve repair or remove a myxoma or close an ASD and that is something that was done uh, 15 years ago through a midline incision that should be the past today. And presumably the, the latest techniques are a lot more um, beneficial for patients as well as the doctors. Uh, no doubt. And, and you mentioned as well as for the doctors. Why? Because people do not want this anymore. Even if cardiac surgery may offer a very good result, but if the pain side is a big scar, a lot of discomfort, long rehabilitation, patients don't buy that anymore. And I think uh, minimally invasive cardiac surgeons and interventional cardiologists should come in the same cat lab and do interventions together in the future. And, and ideally, they should have a heart team, whether that is a myth or a reality. I may allude to that during my talk as well. That's super. <laughs> well, we look forward to hearing you on the 2nd of October. Um, in um, Lausanne, Switzerland, and um, anyone that wants to know more about the meeting can listen to our other video with Professor Martin Frome, which should be under this one. But for now, thanks so much for joining us, um, Dr. Vanneman. I know you're off on holiday now, so have a lovely time in, in Greece. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye.